Hi, I'm Joey Fisher, Utility Sales Manager at MBW. Today, we will be walking through the step-by-step -step guide on utilizing the Soil Pick Rebuild Kit. In this video, we will go over how to disassemble and reassemble the handle and how to emplace all of the O-rings and gaskets. Before we get started, we need to make sure that we have the appropriate tools to be able to complete this job. First, you will need a TP27 socket bit. You will need a TP15 socket bit. You will need a retaining ring puller, a small screwdriver or pick for removal of the O-rings, an open half inch wrench, and for this video, I will be utilizing a drill as well as a screwdriver for removal process. The first step in the process is going to be removing the three screws that secure the handle to the main body. For that, I am taking my drill with the TP27 bit. And for the last one, I am using a screwdriver. It is a little bit of a tight fit. Once all three of those screws are loose and the handle is able to be removed, please be careful in the removal of the handle so that you do not lose or misplace the spring. After that, we're going to flip the main body over utilizing our TP15 bit and removing the valve cover. Once those two screws and that cover are removed, you will expose the lower valve assembly. And from the top by the handle, you will also have exposed the screw that retains the trigger to the valve body. Switching back to the TP27 bit and utilizing our half inch wrench, securing the valve body, I will remove the trigger screw and then flipping the body over one more time and removing the retaining screw for the bottom valve assembly piece. At this point, applying some pulling force on the valve body, the valve um, will expose the wiper gasket. That is one of the components that will be replaced through this process. After that, you will utilize your retaining ring tool. Inside, underneath the wiper gasket, you will see the retaining ring that is holding the valve uh, body in place. Once our retaining ring is removed, the valve body will pull um, out completely. And the last component is to ensure the lower assembly is removed as well. At this point, we will no longer need the body assembly and we will be working purely on the internal components. The first thing we will do is remove the bushing ring that sits around the valve body. Utilizing your screwdriver or your pick tool, remove the gasket. Next, there are two gaskets around the valve itself. And lastly, the lower retaining assembly for the valve. It is important at this time that we take a moment to clean the internal components as this is probably the first time they have been exposed. At this point, we will be applying the new O-rings back to the components.
There is nothing specific about this process. I'm um, just ensuring that the rings are in good working order. There are no rips, cracks, or tears. Once all of the O-rings have been applied to the components, we will utilize the Loctite grease that is supplied in the kit. Once all of the components have been properly lubricated, we will begin the reassembly process. Starting with the underside of the housing, we are going to take the bottom retaining piece, inserting it back into um, the slot. From there, we will reapply the ring to the outside of the valve, ensuring to insert it tapered side down. For this, you may need to apply some additional pressure to that ring as these gaskets and O-rings are new and may need a little convincing. Once we have inserted that valve, we are going to take our retaining clip along with our retaining tool and reinsert that back into its appropriate spot, ensuring that it clicks into place. At this point, we are going to take our wiper bushing with the taper side up apply that into the hole, making sure it seats down properly. From there, we will grab our half inch wrench and our bottom retaining screw. Next, we will apply the valve cover to the bottom of the housing. ensuring that these screws do not cross thread on the way in. Once those are secured, we will take our trigger assembly And lastly, applying our tensioner spring. It may require some rotation and compression to ensure that it properly seats into the trigger guard. At this point, all that is left is reapplying the handle with the three screws. Once the assembly has been completed, we want to depress the trigger to ensure that it is free flowing and there is resistance from the spring. At this point, the only thing that is left is reassembling the soil pick. Simply take the tube, insert it into the threaded end of the handle, rotate clockwise until you make firm contact and the tube section will no longer rotate. Thank you for watching. To purchase the rebuild kit, please contact MBW Customer Service or go to mbw.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.